All right, time to buckle down and get to work. Let's get all my stuff set up here. Oh no, I'm all out of my pink paint. I could have sworn I just bought this. At least I still have the yellow one ready to go. And I'm out of that one too. Great. Well, that's too bad. Perhaps some sugary sweets will cheer you up? Sure, why not. Whoa! There she blows! It's raining Skittles! Rejoice! Whoa. Wasn't expecting this to happen. Hey, check out my glass wow. of water. The candy made it into a lime green color. Awesome! It almost looks like it's radioactive or something, doesn't it? If one mm. piece of candy did all that, just think of what other colors we can make. If you have an empty tray like this, try making your own candy color palette. After you add some candy, brush some water on the pieces like this. It looks like actual watercolor paint! Who needs to go to the art supply store when you can just use your favorite candy? Wow, these girls are definitely inspired by this accidental discovery. Ooh, that last one is definitely frame-worthy. I'm hungry. Hey, Kevin, let me have a piece of candy from your secret stash. Nope, not today, sorry. You're so stingy. Give me that. Come to mama, my sweet sour candy. Show me how you did this. Well, it all started when I saw a giant bowl of candy. Whoa, have I died and gone to sugar heaven? Take a sour strip like this one and cut it down the middle on a slant. On the side with a flat edge, place a little hole. Once you put it aside, get a retractable blade like this one and remove the bottom. Once you do that, the blade piece should slide right out. Then you replace the blade with the sour strap you cut earlier. Once it's all the way in, secure the bottom piece back on. Now, instead of a retractable blade, it's retractable candy. Hey, you know what I'm thinking? It's battle time! Candiosis sugary tosis. Hey, what does all that gibberish mean? Ha! Uh, your magic wand is no match for my lightsaber. Oh man. But lucky for me, I've got one of those too. Wait, Kevin, are you okay? Just kidding. Booyah! Okay guys, this fight is getting a little out of hand, don't you think? Yep, see? You even got the teacher's attention. Now cut it out. Whoopsies. All that sugar must have gone to our heads. So, what's a little more, right? Oh yeah. Totally worth it. Hey, if a girl's got a snack, a girl's got a snack, right? Oh, sweet chocolate. How I've missed you. Anybody think they can solve this problem? Anyone? Lily, why don't you take a stab at it? Looks like that bite will have to wait. Stupid math. Always getting in the way of having fun. Little does Lily know she probably should have put her chocolates away. Yep, Kevin's definitely got his eye on it. She won't notice if I snag a little piece, will she? Kevin, get your hands off my chocolate! I was just making sure it was safe, that's all. My hands are busy writing, see? Boy, I'm watching you. Well, that clearly didn't work. Maybe I'll just rearrange some things to cover my tracks. See? If you cut it this way, you can actually make it look like you took nothing. Pretty clever, right? Yes! She'll never know I snuck a piece. She's coming back! Act cool! Man, that equation was a doozy! You didn't take any of my chocolate, did you? What? No! Of course not! Well, she better not look too closely or she'll learn your little secret. Sneaking a snack behind your teacher's back can be tricky business. What was that? Oh, nothing. I'm just taking in your brilliant lecture. Phew, that was a close one. You'd better be careful, Lily. You don't want to push your luck here. Hey, are you snacking, missy? Huh? I told you snacking should be done at a recess, not in my class. Now fork it over, Lily. Oh man, that's all the candy I have! For this hack, take a stack of post-it notes like this one and draw a large square on the top of the stack. 
Now take a blade and cut a couple of sheets deep along the lines. Once you've taken out the middle pieces, keep going until you're about halfway down the stack. And last but not least, take your favorite candy pieces and stick them inside. And don't forget to cover it back up! Now when you have a hankering for a little sugar in class, keep cool and let your post-it notes save the day. Finally, it's lunchtime! And these hot dogs are hitting the spot. Oh man, I forgot to grab a drink. Think I could take a swig of your soda, Lana? Ew, no! You know I don't like to share germs. Hey! Is Mrs. Appleby coming over here? Now it's Sophia's opportunity to play a little trick on Lana for not sharing her drink. Wow. Who knew saying no to Sophia would result in such an explosive reaction? Ooh, I'm covered in sticky soda! Sophia, you'd better run fast because I'm gonna get you back for this! Remember these from back in grade school? Here's how you can still have some fun with them today. Take a small wad of Play-Doh and cut it into a square with an X-Acto knife like this one. Once you have a perfect square, take it into your hands and gently mold it to look smoother around the edges. See? Now drop it into an empty gum wrapper like this one here. Oh, I could really use a piece of gum. Mmm. Strawberry. My favorite. Hey, what you got there, Amy? Whoa, you're really good at that. Um, hey, care to share the wealth there? Why, of course. How rude of me. Ever wonder if Play-Doh tastes like gum? We're about to find out. Mmm. What is this? What the heck? What on earth is wrong with this gum? Ugh. This is awful. Another day, another hour in art class. But just because your hands are busy doesn't mean they can't pop a Skittle or two into your mouth. But the thing about candy is, the more you share, the less you have left for yourself. Lana's so focused on what she's doing, she doesn't realize Sophia's getting all the grub. Yes, that looks good. Hey! Where'd all my Skittles go? Sophia? How did you eat all these so fast? That's it. I'm gonna get her back for this. Watch and learn, my friends. Take a ball of clay and pinch a small piece off like this. Rub the piece on your palm to smooth out its edges. Now put it aside. With some paint, draw an S on the clay. Looks familiar, doesn't it? Make a bunch in different colors, and you've got yourself a bunch of Skittles. This'll teach Sophia not to mess with my candy. <laughs> yes! She put out more! She won't notice if I snag a few, right? What the heck is wrong with these? Ugh, those were the nastiest Skittles I've ever tasted! Another important lesson in sharing is caring. Feeling particularly evil this holiday season? Then you'll love this next truly disgusting prank. And all you need is an onion. Simply peel it, stick it onto a chopstick, and dip it into chocolate. Yep, you guessed it. This is a candy onion disguised as a candy apple. Now for one more finishing touch. Oh yeah, I can come over tonight. You know what? I'm gonna have to call you back, okay? What on earth is Justin making in here? Looks like Lana has just spoiled Justin's evil plans. Ah, there are the sprinkles. Now this will really look like the real deal. Wow, is it just me or is that onion starting to look pretty delicious? Even Justin's tempted to take a bite out of that thing. Incoming! Justin's here and he's got a snack that smells divine! Is that a candy apple? When did you bring those in the house? Thanks for sharing, Justin! Uh, I wouldn't take a bite out of that thing if I were you, Lily. It's a raw onion. Isn't that right, Justin? Why don't you enjoy your special treat yourself? It's about time that this prankster got a taste of his own medicine. Well, here goes nothing. You're sure gonna need a lot of gum to take care of that breath. And some tissues to dry those tears. That's it. I'm never pranking anyone ever again. I swear. I've never seen him cry like that before. 